Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com. I'm here today with another episode of You Can't Make This Shit Up. The Holy Grail of Bad Reviews. The Holy Grail, those are strong words. You're probably wondering, why did I choose that? Well, you know, for a couple of reasons. Reason one, if we rewind all the way to that Indiana Jones movie where they were hunting for the Holy Grail, and you remember when they opened that thing up and... Well, that's kind of what happened here. And it all started with just an order for an exhaust heat shield that wasn't going to deliver in time. You know, we've got some coronavirus-related delays. It's a bummer, waiting sucks. I hate waiting. You hate waiting, we all hate waiting. Welcome to the new world that we live in, though. It's all about patience and waiting. We do the best we can to keep everybody on top of what it's gonna be like. We got notes all over the website letting you know that there could be delays, product lead times that are as long as two to three weeks, right? That stuff is all clearly displayed. So, let's begin by reading the review, and we'll progress on from there and share the really funny stuff with you. Here is a review of my company. Shady Ghetto Business. By far one of the rudest, most condescending businesses I've dealt with in my life. They sell product they do not have in stock, then try to lie their way out of it. It's very obvious their customer service reps are pulled from the ghetto. If you should choose to gamble your order, regardless, pray you don't deal with Cody. I canceled my $4,767 order with them due to lies and bad customer service. Their three-week ship time will turn into months with a new lie every three weeks. Buyer beware. Take your business to RevZilla. They have yet to mess up an order, and their customer service is mature adults. Be warned, sport bike track here is ghetto. I responded to that. I respond to all the negative ones personally. Uh, you placed an order for $118 M4 exhaust heat shield that had a lead time, clearly shown on the website, of three weeks, listed on the product page, actually right by the add to cart button. Not for $4,767. Yes, I'm calling you a liar and I can prove it. Your treatment of my staff was very disrespectful and will not be tolerated. In the 16 years we have been doing this, it would be fair to say your behavior is the worst I've seen to date. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. It's kind of disturbing and it's kind of funny. So then this person leaves another review, okay? I mean, hey, why not? Let's just, you know, burn the building down. You didn't get your heat shield and when I tell you why, you're gonna laugh. Uh, this place is so ghetto. This place is so ghetto. I've email proof their customer service rep has sent me a total of 24 belligerent emails. I actually have all the proof too, and that's not true. This company has nothing better to do than continue their ghetto ways. I've left reviews on Yelp. Okay, Yelp. Who actually uses Yelp? People older than me, and I'm pretty old. I'm 51. Use Yelp. I don't even use Yelp for God's sake. Uh, PLL, I don't even know what that means. Seriously need to know how ghetto this place is. Take your business to RevZilla. If they continue to troll me from their business email account, I will sue. I can assure you all there is no trolling going on here. Okay, so this review was actually, the or these reviews, they were left after a message exchange between this individual who will go nameless. I can't name this person out of all the videos I've done like this, this is the time, God, I gotta tell you, I really wanna say it. But I can't because that's just not right and I'm not gonna do it. So this all started off on Monday of this week. Hello, this is a Facebook message. Hello for order number 641, blah, 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 blah. I had no idea this would take three weeks to ship. Unfortunately, I'm short on time. If this item does not ship in the next three days, I'll need to cancel the order. Absolutely. That is 100% acceptable, no doubt about it. Cody responded, just letting him know very you know, clearly, hey, listen, on the website, we have all these notes, and we also sent a confirmation email letting you know that we're looking at you know, 
about three weeks. Cody also took a minute to look into it to see when exactly when it's going to ship because this was pretty much right on the three week mark. Pretty much right there. And he discovered it was going to be at least another week. Okay. He let the customer know that. The customer wasn't happy about that. He asked to cancel the order because it wasn't going to ship in three days. So the order ended up getting canceled exactly as he asked. You think that would make someone happy? Well, I can assure you that made this person everything except happy. Now we're going to get into the stuff that is both funny and disturbing. Never in my life have I dealt with a business like yours. I never said to cancel the order. Your customer service reps are some of the rudest I've ever dealt with. Well, you actually did tell us to cancel the order on the very first message that you sent in. Okay, so we did what you asked, but now you're not happy. And there's other, res the responses from Cody are, are just, they're right to the point, actually encouraging the guy to have a nice day several times. LOL, LOL, your day is ruined and you know it. You're sitting in your little chair just fuming that I'm dropping negative reviews on you and your company in multiple areas. Next, I'm going to have you breaking a law, wink. He typed this stuff. You're still not there yet for the simple fact you keep sending me emails. Customer service skills, Cody, take a course. For the ninth time, try to enjoy your wrecked day. Ha! All those words were typed. I'm just reading what I copy and pasted here. Play, and I'm just, I'm skipping over Cody's stuff because like I said, it was just boilerplate, have a nice day, just trying to make this whole thing go away. Who wants to come to work and deal with shit like this? I can tell you, no one wants to come to work and deal with shit like this. I don't care if you go into Chipotle or Walmart or, or sport bike track here. Where? No matter how things go, you, you just don't do this, okay? This is horrible and it just gets worse. Playing it cool now, huh? LMAO, you got played and you know it. I'll push you a bit more and have you break a law. Bet I can have you in jail in three days. Wanna bet, Cody? What is this, a fucking, what is a sequel to Saw? I mean, is we, what's gonna happen next? Is Cody gonna be hooked up to some contraption and tortures him and maybe severs a limb? Come on, man. Your phone will ring multiple times today and the next few days. Answer it. If you'll speak, you'll lose and I'll have you prosecuted. You don't know me, but I know you. Here's where it really goes off the reservation, man. You are a child molester and we're just now getting started. Again, you don't know me. These are all individual messages. Again, you don't know me, but I know you. And the child you molested. You've not figured this out yet. When you're in jail, then piece it together and figure out how I got you. Answer your phone, Cody. Don't answer, and you'll lose. I swear to God, I'm just reading this all right off the paper as, as I copy and pasted it. Another message. Cody, answer your phone. Cody, here's, here's a response. I decided to include this one. Again, have a great day. You seem to have went off the deep end here. You should seek help. I feel like that's good advice that comes from a healthy place. Notice I got a couple pages left. These are all responses now that just basically go unanswered. Answer your phone, Cody. Answer the call, child molester. Scared to take the call, child molester. Answer the phone, child molester. Don't be scared. Say your name, child molester. Looks like you're having a great day, child molester. How's your day going, child molester? Having a great day? Fuck no, he's not having a great day because he's having to read this bullshit from a maniac over a heat shield. Don't be scared, child molester. Say your name. Scared, child molester? You should be. Child's family paid me to find you. Now answer your phone, child molester. What are you, fucking Columbo now? What, you got your trench coat on? And Seriously, come on. Families, come on. Get scared now, child molester. Maybe you should jerk off instead of molesting people's kids. I know who you are. Answer the phone and say your name. Dude. As previously stated multiple times, all I'm doing is reading what was copy and pasted out of our chat system. Looks like you're all played out now. I'll leave you with this. You truly are the stupidest kid I've ever came across. 
you using that company's business email address is a cardinal sin to spam people. Read this. Fines for violating commercial email laws. The FTC is in charge of enforcing laws under the Can Spam Act and has the authority to levy fines against business owners. For each and every violation of the act, a business or person engaging in commercial emails can be fined up to $11,000. Your employer will be served with court documents next month. He will settle with me and you will be fired. Have a great day. Wink. He even typed the wink. Each time I winked, this individual typed it in there. After my response to his reviews on Trustpilot, because you can't just let that stuff go unanswered. It's, it's actually not true. The order was never for that amount. These things never happened. Hook, line, and sinker. You guys are so easy. I have the owner playing now. Ha <laughs> ha! Your real reviews are being posted elsewhere. Surprised you've not found yet. LMAO. I have some people lined up to sink you even more. Have a great day, kiddo. What do you say about that? Like, what do you honestly, 16 years, this is my 16th year doing this. This is funny, but it's not. It's funny, but it's sad. It's crazy. This is over. A heat shield was canceled because this individual actually asked us to cancel it because, hey, I, I get it. You don't want to wait. Hey, man, it is what it is. I can't help there's raw material shortages due to the coronavirus. If you're pissed off, maybe you should fucking send an email to Dr. Fauci and blame him. He seems to have a lot to do with it. Please, anyone out there, if this is how you behave, don't shop here.